take a moment to thank our friends at Luther Mankato Honda for loaning us this incredibly awesome Honda Civic Type R. Hi folks, I'm Rob. Oh, and I'm Nathan. <laughs> we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. Today we're going to take a look at this fantastic 2019 Honda Civic Type R. This thing is amazing. It's beautiful. I'm going to take you for a tour of the outside, tell you specs, its horsepower, its wheelbase. Nathan's going to rev up the engine. Nathan's going to take you for a ride. Where did he go? He's already gone. Hey folks, but if you will, take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below, become a channel member, and hit that bell notification at the top so you never miss a video. And you're really gonna wanna see this video. This is the 2019 Honda Civic Type R. All right, folks. Well, today we're in for a treat. Yeah. And we hope you are too. Well, <laughs> I got to say, Nathan, what it is, I'm, I'm sorry to, to jump in, but we are, today we're with our friends at Luther Mankato yes. Honda. And the treat, Nathan, go ahead, is? The treat is we are in a 29 Civic. No, 2019. A 20, what did I say, 29? 29. <laughs> you were driving cars in 19. We are <laughs> in a 2019 Honda Civic Type I, R. The special part about that is you don't get to test drive these. No. You buy it, and your test drive is your drive home. Yes. So we greatly appreciate the fine folks at Luther Mankato Honda in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Yes, we do. Working with us today to let us briefly test drive this Civic Type R. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. Yes. Tell you, it has pull in every gear. And it I'm not, does, I'm, and I'm in comfort. Oh, but you know, you're already hitting the little bumps and stuff, and I feel it. it it's very muffled. Yeah, it is. The seats are really bolstered. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. They're definitely bolstered to hold you in place when you're pulling those G's. How's the shifting? It, the shifting is great. It just always takes a while to get used to where that sweet point is, right. where, where your clutch. RPMs. Yeah, but I mean, as far as the, it's supposed to be a short, oh, a short it, throw. It's, it's a short throw. Okay, it's a short throw. Yeah, so it's not definitely. wobbling all around searching oh, no. for the next gear. Nope. It's, it's okay. You know, it's a H pattern with two extra um, shift points for six gears, but okay. and then of course far over into the and down the back for reverse. reverse. But yep. you know, right now I'm just in. Uh, fourth gear I'm not even I'm not even gonna well and we're only going 30 so yeah in that respect you would just think you're riding along in a normal car you don't know that you've got a time until you step there. on the gas right. or shift and right. then you realize that yeah then you're gonna be uh, <laughs> something else is broken loose and you're yeah you it's uh, it, it's it's you know in comfort mode the steering is is just nice. It feels pretty much like a like a normal car would. Okay. Like a, a high end, uh, like the Civic. Yeah. Like EXL oh yeah. Or, or oh touring. yeah. So yeah. Yep. And those are, I mean, they've really made the Civic a extremely nice car in the last the, this current generation. can hear that exhaust and that engine waking up with just a little bit of tap of the throttle. All right. I got it in sport mode. All right. Come on. You got to put it in R. Don't be I'm, sissy. All right. It's going to R. <laughs> I'm going right from I better hold to R. R. I'm, Holy cow. Big bright red R. You better go. It's There you go. Big bright red R popped up All in right, the All right. Goodbye, everybody. Holy schmoly. I'm R8. 
sorry, I can't go any faster. I'm at the speed limit. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I usually address these, but uh, why don't you tell us about the steering, the acceleration, the handling? The steering is very, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's really nice, but it's very, it's much stiffer in our mode than it is in sport mode. And sport mode is stiff. Right. So it's um, in three modes? Yes. Yeah, so okay. You've got comfort sport and then R. Okay. can't hold the camera steady when you're taking off like that it just it's instant power folks 306 it, 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 it is you just oh my gosh you're getting a lot of trouble in this car <laughs> what does that i sometimes say i may never bring this back you are going to have so much fun driving this uh so so here we are. so now i'm just go back to comfort for a minute Right away, yep. The steering is still stiff, but it's, I actually it's, felt it's it too. The suspension. Oh it yeah. It just felt like it just got a little bit lighter, a little more um, comf uh, smush mushy. I don't know. It's not really mushy, but still, you've got a little bit better. Uh, you got more comfort. It's back yes. in comfort. Yep. I like the uh, Alcantara on the door panels and on the seats. It really it's comfortable and it holds you in place. It does. We're going around this off ramp here. And, Pretty tight circle, and it's, it's oh, yeah. I haven't shifted at all, I have it shifted in my seat at all. Oh, did I just bark the tires? I don't know. I think I just barked the tires. <laughs> if it puts the grit on my face like this, <laughs> no, I'm having fun. No, all right, I'm gonna put it back into comfort mode just so I don't get into trouble. And it's a much more relaxing drive then. Yeah. Still very sporty, don't get me wrong, but oh no, there is a different difference between every single mode. The um, I tell you what, the tires on this are grippy as all get out. Super sticky. Oh yes. man, there there is just no give or anything on it. It's whew. So you, okay, my turn to drive. Woohoo! Here we go. Right. Oh. Right. Oh yeah, you need your seatbelt. I need my seatbelt on, please. Let me get my seatbelt on okay, and see, let me turn. Now that's how you shift about breaking people's neck. That's because you're going out of. No, I wasn't going. I was going a little faster than that when I shifted. <laughs> oh boy, that is a short shift. Wow. Yep. That's awesome. That you don't even move hardly a centimeter. It feels like, and you're in third. That is so cool. See, you're okay. in comfort. I'm in comfort and it's got plenty of zip. But 295 foot pound of torque. I don't know. 306 horsepower. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Sport R. Wow. Now, now, just to tick Rob off, what I've done is I've set the speed limit to beep at about 35. <laughs> Well, that's okay because I'm, I'm not going to drive it. I'm not going to drive it crazy. I'm just going to enjoy the drive because the cool part about it is you know you can get into it. You showed that earlier. I'll, I'll get into it a little bit as we uh, get on the uh, on ramp. He's going to do more uh, than that. Yeah, but Guarantee overall, you. it's it's also kind of cool to know that you can drive it like a normal Civic, but then you can unleash the beast if you want to. Yes, I noticed you flipped it to Type R. <laughs> as I'm saying, how cautiously I'm going to drive mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. That's why you put it in sport mode. Wow, that steering. Oh, my oh, goodness. It's just... Yeah, see what I told you? Yeah, you're at the speed limit in the third gear. I'm oh, in fourth duh. right now, so I, not yeah. even doing. Now six <laughs> just to coast, but uh, yeah. It is fun to drive. I'm getting a grin on my face, and you're driving. It's and it's comfortable. It is. It is so comfortable. It's not like uh, you would think of. Okay, it's a sporty car, so therefore it's going to be uh, just hard. The the shift knob is just the right size as well. Just and it falls easily to hand. And I mean, it's nothing to. Whoops! I actually went skipped third and went to fifth. There we go. It's very minute in its differences from gate to gate. I didn't miss any years, just to point out. 
Oh, you stripped gears years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Hit fourth, right? Yeah. Oh man. I tell you what, if if I if I own this car, I would the first thing I would do is look up track days in my local area. Oh yeah. To find out days when I could take this out on the track, because there is no way you can uh, push this thing um, to its limit without getting some tickets. And now it's in cruise, and we're going to move it back to comfort, right there. Loosens up the steering some, it loosens up the suspension. It's even more, it's kind of just sets down a little bit more, it feels like. Yep. It's more cushioned. And you're cruising along, you're getting 31 miles to the gallon on the highway from 306 horsepower uh, turbo inline four. It, wow. Yeah. Way to go, Honda. Yeah, it is. You know, you, I was kind of concerned. Uh, talk, uh, you know, that big spoiler on the back, I was kind of concerned, but it does not get in the way of your outboard. It, it doesn't. It's mounted all. so high, it's almost right. part of the top of your window. Yeah, it's over and the you windshield. you can see it in the camera here. Well, there, because it's a lower level, but as I'm looking in the rear view mirror, I don't see it. Now, I do see that midline spoiler, Okay. but not the big tall one. I see the one right on the deck lid, but not the, not the top part of it. Oh, boy. This yeah, really it is. is nice. Very comfortable. See the, the and, and oh, the, it does the downshifting. For the, you. Yeah, wow. when you downshift, it automatically revs the engine ah. to match what you're the speed and the RPMs you're at. Right, so you don't blow it. Right. Oh, it's just. <laughs> well, it, I mean, it's, it's not the first car that's smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> don't no, say. No, we we drove a Yugo the other day that was smarter. <laughs> well, you know why they have rear uh, re the rear window heater in Yugos. No. So it keeps your hands warm when you push them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but hmm. it's just supremely comfortable and easy to drive. Yet, when you want to be a little demon, you just turn it to Type R Sport oh. and you just go for all yes, get you out's sake. Wow. Holy buckets. It puts you right in your seat. I think you're on a racetrack. I'm a, I would love to be able to work with Honda America, if you guys are watching, we'd like to come and have to be able to drive and film one of these cars on the track. We'll wear a helmet. I don't care. We'll wear yeah. a five-point harness, four-point harness. He'll even wear a fingernail polish. No, I won't. I won't oh. wear a fingernail polish. Oh, I'm going to draw a line there. I'm going to draw the line because Nathan has toenail polish. And it, <laughs> it, will, it will clash with his <laughs> color. It will clash, yeah. <laughs> but if we do type R, maybe I would. I could put little R's painted little on Little R's on there, yes. Yeah, okay, black and red accents. Or the red Honda badge. Yeah. This would be a hoot on a track. Can you imagine? It feels like a go kart. I love go kart. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna mention that. You no, know, some cars we've talked about. We reviewed one in the past year. They you know, kind of, they're small or nimble. They kind of feel like go karts. Right. If that's true, <laughs> this is a go kart on rocket fuel. Well, what it is when you ride a go kart, people say, "Man, this drives so great. It feels like a Honda Civic Type R." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> This car makes go-karts envious in the way it's handling and the way it is absolutely, it rides and drives like it's on rails. Yet you can turn it to comfort mode and just enjoy a normal drive in the, in the city. Yep. Oh, man. And it's kind of cool. We're at a stoplight and we're getting thumbs up and we're getting people oh, gawking and looking. <laughs> yeah, it's like really that. cool. So, uh... I, I, yeah, I, we've I, had several people look at it while we're uh, we we're over at the park, and a whole filming. bunch of kids came over and they wanted to look at it and check it out, and they were like, "Ooh, ah, man, this is cool!" <laughs> so it's fun. It's great. Well, it, it's been an awesome ride and an awesome review. It's, it's you know it's fun to stop you know to for a minute. It's fun for a minute to to get into something different. You know, we right. talked about that when we drove the the Buick Regal Tour X. Yep. Um, just fun to get in something different. This again is different from what we normally review, but man, what are, a hoot! I'll tell you. Are what. you sad that we reviewed it, Nathan? That we didn't go for? A I'm only sad thing. that I can't drive it home. <laughs> I'm sad that we're about 500 feet from the dealer. I'm about to pull into the lot and <laughs> hand the keys, or at least Nathan's going to hand some keys back over. All right. And, so, uh, hey, before we do that, quick, yeah. you know, after we're done with this, we will show you our favorite things. Yes. Each one yes. of us has picked something favorite out, and uh, mine is unusual this time. But well, you'll see that in the video. So, 
Make Thanks sure, for watching, folks. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification at the top so you never miss a video because you're not going to want to miss this. Nope. And uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and uh, give us some thumbs up and leave some comments below. All Thanks, right. folks. All right. Okay, it's a little hard to actually pin down a favorite thing on this car because there are so many of them. But I like the styling and I like the cool uh, things that are on here. Other than the big giant wing, which I'm typically not a fan of, but on this car it absolutely works. But I like these roof-mounted vortex generators. I don't know if I like the styling of them more than I like the name, but either way, I think they're pretty awesome and they fit this car. So that is my favorite thing. All right, so normally I do my favorite thing on the inside, but Rob is my favorite. No, I'm joking. My favorite thing, and I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you a picture of the grin on my face. My favorite thing is driving this car. This was an utter and complete joy to drive. That was my favorite part. <laughs> If it puts the grin on my face like this, <laughs> no, I'm having fun. No. There is a short throw, throw six-speed manual transmission with rev match control. Helical limited slip differential. It's zero to 60 time is 4.9 seconds. And on the skid pad, it'll pull 1.02 Geez, told you those are some sticky tires. It will go from 70 to zero and 142 feet. Now that's equal to a $200,000 Acura NSX. I told you, put it in R mode, this thing will absolutely scream. Now on the front end, there are projector beam headlights with on off, automatic on off. And then you have LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights. I love the red Honda badges, both front and rear, and you also have the Type R badges, both front and rear. I like the styling of the car. You know, it's got a little bit extra, um, uh, it's got the chin uh, spoiler down below, and you've got a little bit more aggressive look on the front end, but overall it's a Civic. You still have though, however you do get in this car, you get that uh, actual functioning spoiler, or excuse me, hood scoop. And on the sides here, I'll show you this real quick, and yes, those are Brembo brakes in there, and I'll tell you about the tire and brake combination in just a minute. But you do have this vent here, and that is functional as well. But you do have on this car, there is an aluminum hood to help cut down on weight. You have the body colored mirrors and the body colored door handles with a simple one push uh, button to lock and unlock when you have the key fob in your hand. Uh, so it is called the smart entry with walk away auto lock. Around the back, you do have LED brake lights. And yeah, I love that spoiler. Look at that big boy sitting up there. That's awesome. <laughs> But you do have the LED brake lights, body colored, roof mounted, vortex generators. And I gotta think that's what those are right there, just vortex generators. I absolutely love that. Dual axis McPherson front suspension, and it has a multi-link rear suspension. Front stabilizer bar is tubular at 29 millimeter by five millimeter, and the rear is a 20.5 millimeter solid. Power assisted ventilated and cross drilled front disc brakes, 13.8 uh, inches, and the rear are solid uh, with uh, being 12 inch out back. And again, the front have the Brembo four piston aluminum brake calipers. Now, these wheels are 20 inch by 8.5 alloys, and they are clad in maximum performance summer tires. 24530 ZR2090Y. That's why they are super sticky. They will pick up gravel, they will pick up sticks, they will pick up everything all in the sake of holding you to the road like you are on rails when you put this thing in sport or R mode. Out back, show you this. There's an underbody spoiler kit 
with red striping. You see the fender skirts along the way there, and you see on the back the underbody spoiler kit. But what I really love, and Nathan has commented on this as well, is that center mounted triple outlet exhaust. This vehicle rides on a 106.3 inch wheelbase. Its overall length is 179.4 inches, height 56.5 inches, width 73.9 inches. The front track is 63 inches, the rear track 62.7, all for a total curb weight of 3,117 pounds with weight distribution of 61.8 front to 38.2 rear and this is a front wheel drive car. Turning diameter curb to curb is 39.5 feet. Fuel capacity, 12.39 gallons. Now, lest you think this is all boy racer and uh, not practical for uh, young families, there you go guys and gals, I put in a plug for you so you can actually haul the kids around in this too and get them to soccer pa uh, practice when they're never ever late. You won't have an excuse. Cargo volume, Rear seat up, 25.7 cubic feet as you see it here. You put the rear seat down and you're gonna have 46.2 cubic feet. Now, styling. Styling on this vehicle, as I said earlier, it's kind of in your face styling, so it's not for everyone's taste. But, you know, there is a market demographic for this and I think Honda nailed it on the styling. Actually, I like the color as well. But I like all the blackout. I like the red and black accents on it. So overall, I think they did a fantastic job with it. Beautiful vehicle, outstanding. Can't wait to hop in and drive it. Uh, I know Nathan's waiting to show you on the inside and take you for a tour of the technology and the fun that's packaged on the inside of this car. So we'll hand it over to him now. So, all right, Nathan, take it away. All right, so here we are on the inside of the 2019 Honda Civic Type R. And uh, right away you're going to notice you know, the red accents uh, everywhere along with the um, uh, suede looking trim here. Got red stitching, you got a red pipe uh, coming up in here, and of course on the seats. Um, yeah, there's a lot of red in there. You got the Type R written right in there. The black stripes going down. They're heavily bolstered. They really keep you in the seat when you're driving. Red stitching on the uh, on the center uh, armrest here, and it continues on the seats here, and then it continues on the dashboard with sort of the carbon fiber look, and then the red piping going around. It is really sharp, very, very sporty looking. Continues on to the steering wheel down inside of here. Um, just really nice. All right, backing up here to the door again, you just, you have, of course, your standard window controls. The two front windows are auto up and down, and then you get your window lock out, your lock button, and then your mirror controls. Down here, you have a little bit of storage. On the driver's seat, it's a manual control, and so you have an up-down adjustment, uh, which is not on the passenger side. And then you, of course, have the recline one, which is on the passenger side. And then for forward and backwards, you just have a lever down here that you pull to slide the seat forward or backwards. You notice the pedals. Okay, these have raised rubber surfaces that grip your shoe when you're on them and make for a really sure contact so you don't slip at all. Okay. Uh, down here you do have a tilt and telescoping wheel however what you need to notice is that it is way down here okay so um, if, if I bring this forward here then I can go like this and I can tilt and telescope it but it is way down here so it's a little hard to, to, to feel when you're sitting in the driver's seat in fact initially I thought it didn't have it but it is there so it is tilt and telescoping over here you've got a traction control off button as well as your uh, trunk, a hood opener. All right, moving over to the steering wheel. Here we go. You've got uh, controls here for your driver's uh, information system, which is right inside the RPM gauge there. And then, of course, you have the phone, uh, phone on, phone off, and the back button for the driver's information center. You have your voice command button here. And then your information card selector for your driver's information center. And then, of course, <clears throat> a volume button. 
Over here, you have cruise control, and then resume, set, and cancel. Okay. Uh, moving down over here to the uh, infotainment screen, which is a seven inch. Let me back up a little bit here. Okay, this is a seven inch, 540 watt, 12 speaker sound system. And it's it sounds like the car drives. It is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, you've got physical buttons here. I know there's a little plastic on top of here, and I don't really want to remove that. But uh, you basically you've got a home key up. You've got a home key up here. You've got a map button here. You've got audio button here. You've got a phone button here and a back button here. So lots of physical buttons, but everything is 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 touch screen as well. Okay, you got a physical on off and volume right here and then uh, down here if you want to look at your climate system you can press this and your climate control system comes on the screen yet you have physical controls for everything down here your your temperature setting this is dual zone auto climate control fan speed um, you got your on off to turn this whole system on or off recirculatory front defroster rear defroster and then of course your sync button to push to sync all the temperatures together i like how after a while we were on climate and it just turned right back to the radio okay so uh moving down here you do have um a nice storage area right in here and then coupled in here is another uh, USB charging port right down here. It's kind of on a wire, uh, but this will hook into your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, down here you've got a beautiful aluminum shaft shift knob with six gears plus reverse. It's a short throw shifter. Oh man, is it fun to drive? Okay, you do have a brake hold feature, so if you park and if you uh, brake in traffic. You can take your foot off the brake, but you know don't take it off the clutch unless you're in neutral. You, here's your electronic parking brake. Every Type R comes with its own serial number. You put it right on the uh, console right here. Over here is where you shift between Sport, Comfort, and R mode. So I'm going to take let you look at the dash right now. We're in R mode. You notice all the red uh, LEDs lighting up around it. If I go to Comfort, everything you know I change changes a little. Oh, this is Sport, excuse me. So I still get a little bit of the red on the top, but the RPM changes to white. And if I go to comfort, the red disappears completely. Here. Continuing on down the center console, uh, you do have a cup holder. This is kind of a unique arrangement. It's a single cup holder um, right here. However, if you want dual cup holders, if you just slide this cover back, this one right here, just slides forward and back. And now, get my shirt out of the way, now you've got two cup holders. You can, however, let's say you want a little deeper uh, cup holder, pull this one back, and you've got another cup holder down here. So you can move your armrest back up again. And now if you've got one of those you know, big uh, glasses you can, or a thermoses, you can put it right there. You do have another USB outlet, uh, charging outlet down here. You can already see where it says USB there. Um, and again, this does slide, and so does this. It also um, will show you if I clip, if I grab this right here, I can pull this whole thing out, and then you've got my much more storage. And this, of course, does lift up. So now I've got another tray back here that I can slide, and I've got more storage, very deep storage down there. Could probably fit a, a, a half gallon of milk uh, right in there. The glove compartment over here is very deep very ample space in there okay so we're gonna just go up here quick you have a standard day night mirror with a switch here you've got two reading lamps over here and then up here of course you have got uh, your lit uh, rear view mirrors they are telescoping you do have a grab handle on either side here and in fact on all four sides you have those all right, starting on the back here in the door, you kind of got the same beautiful red stitching along with the black to gray colors here. This is more of a cloth, and then this, of course, is a plastic, uh, but a very nice combination. You have a little bit of storage down here, and then back here is an overview of the back seat. There's no center armrest. The center armrest is instead built in between both seats, and okay, so I'm going to step in here. <laughs> 
I got plenty of room. Oh my gosh. Tons of room back here. And a comfortable seat too. You know, it's not it's not as bolstered as the front seats by any means, but you wouldn't want it to be. I love the red uh, seat belts. Those are awesome. And then you, of course, have a cup holder down here. Do cup holders and then a little storage tray right there. So, and then you have the carbon fiber looking back, which is really nice. Um, headroom wise, I've got lots of headroom. I got, you know, at least an inch and a half or so. Um, very nice. Um, really like the interior back here, and it's very, very roomy. Cannot believe how much room my legs have. That is. That is really nice, and they're and they're stretched out, and I'm not sitting straight up either. So really nice. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this review of the 2019 Honda Civic Type R. There's a view from the back. What oh, a gorgeous, gorgeous sports car.